Sin chao, hello, welcome to the Crooked Truth. My name is Melo and I am your judge here in this court. I may be high sometimes, but trust me, there is one thing you can never take away from me. That is the truth. And I'm going to say it the hardest way without any fear or without any filters. I always tell my newcomers that no matter who you are, if your case enters this court and plays before me, I'm going to treat you like I treat any other person. So make sure your case does not enter this place. I will not favor you. I will not pamper you. Before we go into the case, I urge everybody to remain silent before this court, other in court. Now, for those of you who do not know Sam George, yes, who haven't watched this channel or watched a video about him on this channel, he once exposed the GRA boss of his age. He forged his age. He was above retirement age and still working. So he exposed that man. Now, there is another expose in the sports sector here in Ghana. He has exposed another two men. And it's very funny. It's very scary. It's very worrying. I want us to go watch the video or the case. Then, as usual, I have something to say. I'm going to give my judgment based on what we will watch. Ching says you raised about, you received checks totaling about 250,000 Ghana cities for sporting, non sporting activities at the stadium, Accra Sports Stadium, specific Accra Sports Stadium in 2023 during the festive period 70,000 from Benetton group then you had um, another 50,000 from Jesus unhindered interventions limited by guarantee group that same group paid another 35,000 another 24,090 so total about 250,000 did you lodge this in your central the, the NSA's central account where all lodgements are supposed to go at head office, or did it go into your original account in Kumasi? Mr. Chairman, partly was lodged in Accra and the other in Kumasi. Why? Why do you raise revenue in Accra for an event in Accra and lodge it in, in, in a different account in Kumasi? Mr. Chairman, the invoices we issue to those two um, uh, Do you have an answer for the committee? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. So I'm listening. The committee would like to know why. So, like I said, Mr. Chairman, partly was lodged in Kumasi. You've repeated that already. I'm asking was why. In Kumasi. The Director General will explain why. The direct, but you are the accountant. Lodgements are made to you. So, why is the Director General of the NSA supposed to explain what is your role? Is it because he died? It's funny. Sometimes, if I make videos like this about Ghana leaders, some people do not understand me, especially some of those who are in the West, our brothers and sisters who are in the West. If I say that, I mean those who have lived in the, in the West for a very long time. They've lived all their lives over there, the black people who are there. They don't understand. All they say, some of them say, is youth of Ghana should create their own jobs. They shouldn't be lazy. And it's funny. If a country cannot create jobs for its people or the government cannot create jobs for its people, then what country is that? Even in the West, the government creates jobs for people. Yes, there are individuals who are doing things for themselves, but there are still jobs for the government. You see, this is what we are talking about. Now, this group of people, people like this, they have made you know, attaining of higher position in government, not attractive to young men who are genuine, young men who always want to say the truth and do their work diligently. You know why? If you try 
to go and work at such places genuinely, your life will be cut short. You would be given some illnesses that you would even quit the job. That is the truth. Some people wouldn't understand, but that is the truth. So if you enter such places, you need to follow their rules. If not, you will be an enemy. If not, you will get a whole lot of haters. This is how it is in Ghana here. Now look, look at the way they are stealing money. Look, using different sets of accounts to steal money. There are even some of the accounts or the company names which are ghosts. They provide ghost names just to receive and loot money from the government. Funny enough, these people, if they are misbehaving or doing this kind of things, they forget or they intentionally not do things to protect themselves in case they are being asked questions. You know why? They feel Ghanaians are foolish people. They think Ghanaians do not have sense. We are not intelligent. Oh, these people, they wouldn't know. Oh, they can't ask us anything. Let us do anything anyhow. You see, in Ghana, we have a saying that, so, wubufu embaya, if he de, unkotina wa honding. If he de unkotina wa honding, now, some judges here, he is ready to fight those who are into corruption, those who are not doing the right thing. Now, see, he asks you questions of God you cannot answer. Simple questions you guys cannot answer. If you are telling the truth, no matter the questions they will ask you, you will answer them with ease. But immediately you start to lie or you know you are telling lies. If they ask you questions, you have to sit for a very long time before you find answers or you will not find answers at all. You see? It's so sad. Very, very, very sad. They think that, oh, all the politicians, we are the same. We all we steal money. We all, we do what we like. So we are the same. We are in the same trend. So nobody can ask me questions. Now, some judge is here. Some judge is here. I'm not saying some judge does not have his own flaws. He does not have some secrets. He does. But since they are still secrets, we do not care about it. If his secrets come out or his flaws come out, we will still come here and talk about it also. Now, me, I'm scared for some judge. You know why? People will target him because he is exposing them. Ghanaian leaders do not like people like some judge. Immediately, you start exposing them, fighting against them. Your life is under threat. Your life is in danger. They will start hunting you. Now, all I can do is to pray for God's favor for this man, some judge. All the gods in Ghana must protect him. All our ancestors who had or who have clean hearts, the new hearts must protect him. All the security personnel who have clean hearts must also protect this young gentleman. Even if we have 10% of some judge in government, trust me, Ghana would develop. We would have hope that Ghana would be a better place. But the question is, are people ready to be like some judge? No, everybody wants to steal. Everybody wants to loot so that they enrich themselves and their family. This is all they want to do. Some judge, you've won my heart, but you will only win my heart 100%. When you keep on doing this, if your party NDC is in power, right now I have doubts. That may be because of your party is in, in opposition. That is why you are fighting other people. But if your party comes in power and you keep on doing this, that is when you win my heart 100%. But I respect you for what you are doing. You are the kind of people we need in Ghana. If you are doing this, some of us, we would be encouraged to also follow your footsteps and do what you are doing. May God bless you. God protect you. The gods protect you. The security service protect you. May our ancestors protect you through this journey that you've taken upon yourself. It's a shame. You people who are doing this, it's a shame. 
it's a shame. Even if you don't suffer the consequences, your descendants will suffer these consequences. Yes, I'm not cursing you, but that is how it is. Anyways, guys, if you've watched till now, let me know what you also think in the comment section. It's your own judgment. It's your own, you know, appeal. Put it there. Let's have fun. Do you think what some judge is doing is right? Or what these people are doing is right? Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you become part of this tribe family. Like the video. Share for others to see this channel so they also come and contribute. Recommend my channel to someone. Let's all have fun here. We are saying the truth the hardest way. On here, we always strive for glory. We strive for success. We strive for travels. We strive for the truth and anything important. Your boy, Melody, I'll see you in the next course session. Court rise. No more. If you know, make money, friends, good dog you. Nobody said we love you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day, you gotta make it. If you know, make money, friends, good dog you. Nobody said we love you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day, cause one day. No you gotta love me now.